it's a non communicable disease that is it cannot spread from one person to another it affects both the children and adults and is a most common lung disease particularly in the children it causes the person to have breathing issues and why is that one is that your the breathing pipes will become narrow two they have a lot of swelling inside three there's built up of mucus all of this makes breathing quite difficult so whenever there is a change of season the asthmatics have to adapt to the temperatures and these fluctuations result in triggers which causes an increase in the swelling of the airways plus the airway muscles they go into spasm that means they go into a contraction state this also uh, happens at the same time that the airways try are uh, try to be kept open so this process of opening as well as closing can cause coughing it can cause wheezing that is you know whistling sounds which can come from your chest there can be shortness of breath that is you feel really difficult in breathing and you feel that as if there's something holding on to your chest which is what is known as chest tightness this can lead to an asthma attack you can identify and avoid your various triggers that is the preventive aspect but you also need to know that what is the action or the treatment to be taken once you get these symptom fluctuation so it's very important to keep your doctor in the loop as to what are the symptoms and how are they often they are fluctuating and what is the treatment that is necessary so in this case in asthma inhalers have emerged as the main stay of treatment and they are extremely effective in managing asthma and minimizing the patient's symptoms they aid in one direct delivery of the medicine to the lungs thereby helping the airways which are now narrow clears relax and you can breathe better they also deliver the medicines directly to the area where you have a problem so that means there is no systemic signs what i mean is that it is not absorbed it, it doesn't go into the other parts of your body where it is not needed and therefore the side effects are quite minimal third they help control your asthma symptoms one uh, through the prevention and immediate relief and also they prevent the progression you know these constant narrowings of your airways and build up of swelling and mucus and gradually lead to your airways actually becoming narrow permanently so that is called as airway remodeling is prevented they are also suitable for all age groups and should be used as per your doctor's instructions for children it is recommended and even for adults it's recommended that you use a spacer along with the inhaler